Help support the companies that support our community. This was a demo piece, so I've had this sitting around the shop for a couple months, but it's going to work out perfect for this project. I love this tool. It is the D-Way 316 beading tool and it works fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around and bead the whole piece. So when you're cutting with it, you just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and it cuts beautifully. tool glides right over the void in this piece. Just make sure your RPMs are up a little bit. I have mine at about 2,500 RPMs. This piece was about halfway hollowed out from the demo, so I used the Easy Wood number one and the Deep Hollower to finish it off. To burn the lines, I'm going to use our wire burner. So these are available at most woodworking stores and actually Ruth Niles is carrying them on her website as well and they're great for bottle stoppers and utensil handles. So on this one, I'm gonna set everything up the same except for the burning pin. So what I did is I turned it at an angle and so I'm burning every groove with the tip at an angle and it gives it a really cool look to it. So doing it this way, it takes about twice as long as just regular burning straight lines because you have to take the tip and just push it straight in right on the crown of the bead and burn down until it burns all the way over to the sides. But what it does, because you're pushing it in there for so long, it actually, you can see how it darkens the wood up and gives it a great just texture to it. I just used the Howards on that top ring and the bottom. I didn't put it on the rest of it. I really like the look from burning all the lines in it that it gave. After turning away most of the material, I went ahead and cupped the bottom out a little bit and then used the Easy Wood Detailer to bring down that little nub there in the center and then finished it off with a pole saw and dropped it on the bed leg. <laughs> so it's fine, it bounced right off of there. After that, I went ahead and switched and put the, the sanding pad on the lathe and just ran through all the grits up to 600. There it is. I'm super happy with it. The, the look, it, just by burning them at an angle, it just gives it a unique look to it. It's not like the, the other ones I've done where they're all straight lines. So a little something a little different, but you do need to have some patience with it. It took me twice as long, and I, I didn't even color the thing in, but it was just like, burning in on the crown of every single one of them and then just slowly push it in there. I'll have a link down below too where I got 
the parts for the little table that I put it on. So you basically just tape your, your burning pin down into a little groove block like that, but I'll have a link down below in the description of that. So I really wanted to try it. I'm happy I did. It, it gives it that cool little look and the bonus is that it had this little bark enclosure on it and I just, I kind of wanted to do something to where it looked like it was actually fabric and maybe rotting away a little bit. And I think it really gives it that look to where the, the fabric was, was rotting away when it's something like that. So very cool. And I didn't go very thin with it. It's probably a little less than half an inch. And the reason I stopped was because as I was cutting from the back side or the inside there, it created like a little bridge, a picture of it up there. and. With, with the wood and I really like the way that looked so that's why I stopped right there it was like that's just a cool look to it all right hope you enjoyed the video I will have another one out next week um, if you do any basket illusion stuff please uh, email me I would love to see them but fun technique I uh, there's a couple other things I want to try with this too just just different things so remember there's no wrong way all right everybody have a great weekend and we'll see you next time take care